Okay, hi friends, we are going to see the third series of uh, April month Yojana 2021 with the title Jaljeevan Mission. So we already saw that importance of reading Yojana for our UPC examination is to make your answer more objective by using the information and analysis of this content. So in today's article what are the topics we are going to see is uh, first one is Jal Shakti Abhiyan and the second one is centrality of women in water management. These are the two topics we are going to see and we will take previous UPSC question and fi find how to integrate these points to that particular question. Hi friends, we are going for the article Jal Shakti Abhiyan and we can see the uh, author's names. So bo uh, both of them worked in uh, Ministry of Jal Shakti and they have very good uh, work experience and administrative experience in water management. So they are writing an article how to go for water management under the topic called Jal Shakti Abhiyan. So in that page number 46, we take paragraph 1, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3. So we will start with paragraph 1. The source of water is finite, thus finite availability and competing demand makes water management a complex issue with increasing conflicts between water users and its users. So in pre-independent India, local communities have been known for designing their system using traditional knowledge and wisdom to fulfill the needs of the community led to the decline in community participation, okay, uh, community in different climatic conditions. Taking over water managed by colonial rule led to decline in community participation made them dependent on government from both for meeting both drinking water and agriculture requirements. So any solution to water management issues has been planned with people centric strategy that encourages and ensures their participation. And this paragraph can be an answer for your mains especially the body of your answers for any questions. So it has a lot of points which we can relate to our answer writing. So what are the keywords in this? If you go for water management, paragraph 1, water management, sorry, so water management, so wa water management is complex issue, so most of the problems in India is a complex issue. Why it's a complex issue is one is finite availability, and competing demands. Finite availability and com competing demands. And please understand these points: finite availability and competing demands. You can use for most of our resources. Either it can be water, or it can be land or it can be mineral resources. So it depends upon how you take this keywords and relate with that particular topic. So this is a point where you can use it in your mains answer writing. So why it's a complex issue is finite availability of water and competing demands. Competing demands is what is required in different sectors of a human society. Either it can be agriculture, industry or domestic purpose. That's a competing demand. Okay. So that's the first point which we need to focus on. Our next thing is in pre-independent time, local communities uh, have been knowing for designing the system using traditional knowledge. So pre-independence era. So pre-independence era, where we can relate with traditional knowledge. So what is traditional knowledge is, it's accumulation of knowledge for thousands of years in different areas. Either it can be a medicine, here we are for focusing on water management. It is said that local communities based on their climatic conditions, traditional knowledge based on their climatic conditions, so climatic conditions went for water management. So this can be a point used to say about India's uh, richness in knowledge. So any question related to that, either it can be an essay topic where you can relate this point. How India is uh, uh, abundant with traditional knowledge. One such is water management to understand that you can relate with the examples of uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat where we have a lot of uh, water conservation mission, uh, measures, traditional water conservation measures. So pre-independence uh, pre era, 
uh, especially during the British times, you can see that uh, they were uh, people were very good in using this um, traditional knowledge, especially before Britishers. Uh, next comes the time of British uh, administration or British rule in India, where they broke the system. So, where they broke this local participation and use of traditional knowledge in water management and the point says that people began to depend upon government. So, depend upon government for drinking water and agricultural requirements. So, government made them dependent especially during British times because they have their own interest. So, this can be a point in history also. Any question regarding history, regarding British uh, rule in India, what is the impact? You can give this as a point, not as a primary point but secondary point. And any solution to water management has to be planned with people-centric strategy, ensuring people's participation. So, any solution for the problems in India, there should be an active people's participation. And please understand, this point can be a conclusion for any answers regarding India's socio-economic problems, because any problem of the society can be solved only by act active people's participation. It's not about water issues. Even if you take any problem of air pollution or it can be a, a, a crime against women. So, this is a common point. So, that should be a, a active people's participation. So, that is paragraph 1. And paragraph 2, the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation, Ministry of Jal Shakti on July 1st, 2019 launched Jal Shakti Abhiyan in coordination with states and union territories as a time-bound campaign in 256 districts covering 1,500 blocks that are classified as water stress. Here what are the important factors? It is not about the timing or the year in which Jal Shakti uh, Abhiyan was started. It is more about water stress. There is another factual statement which says that around 250 districts in India are categorized as water stress. When you say 250 districts, six, uh, districts of water stress means approximately we have an, around 700 districts. So, you can calculate based on numbers. So, what are the level of water stress in India? So, 250 districts so, uh, having a water stress means which clearly shows that uh, what will be a biggest problem. And how this factual information can be used is, you know that in rural India especially, we depend upon agriculture as a major economic activity. And if you take this 250 districts, approximately around 70 to 80 percentage is being rural area. That is our assumption. So, 256 districts means mostly it will be concentrated the agricultural activities also. Because of water stress, what happens? Agriculture is not productive, not income generating. That results in rural to urban migration. So, this can be a point you can use it for cause for rural to urban migration. So, water stress is one important point. And you can give this facts in your answer saying that 250 districts in India is water stress. Even if you know which part of those areas are water stress, logically you can think of uh, anything on, uh, uh, if you take this uh, Western Ghats, you you have gone through the southwest monsoon. How south southwest monsoon occurs in India, especially in peninsula. So windward side, leeward side, and mostly leeward side is the area where we have water stress. And if you go and check in migration pattern, that is the source of migration. Example is Vidarbha. So these are all the implied aspect of relating this fact. So 256 districts is uh, uh, water stress districts in India which results in rural to urban migration, a cause. This factual statement you can write in your answers. That is paragraph 2. And paragraph 3, the campaign was carried out in two phases. Phase 1 carried out between July 2019 for all states coinciding with southwest monsoon and state and union territories receiving retreating monsoon on the phase 2. So, we know that there are two monsoons, southwest monsoon and uh, northeast monsoon or retreating monsoon retreating monsoon. So, this uh, Jal Shakti Abhyan was based on it. So, so, so southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon. So, what is important of this passage is you can write this point in geography based question relating the importance of monsoon. You can see that government programs are tied with monsoon. The importance of monsoon is not only related to agriculture, not only related to industries, even government programs are depending on monsoon. So, phase 1 and phase 2 is based on monsoon pattern. So, this is a pa paragraph 3 in page number 46. Next, we go for page number 47. 
So, in page number 47, intervention areas. So, in this particular Jal Shakti uh, Abhiyan, what are the interventions? What are the interventions are nothing but measures. I just put that as paragraph 1, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3. So, in paragraph 1 regarding intervention measures under Jal Shakti Abhiyan, water conservation, rainwater, rainwater harvesting, renovation of traditional and other water bodies and tanks, reuse and recharge structures, watershed development and intensive afforestation. So, these are the points where you can use it for water management. So, here you can see that holistic approach. Here you can see that holistic approach in water management. Holistic approach means 360 degree, taking into consideration of all factors. One is water conservation and rainwater harvesting. So, what are the source of water we have? We want to effectively collect that water, correct? So, renovation of traditional water bodies and tanks, already infrastructures what we created for thousands of years. That we need, we need to focus on renovation, reuse and re recharge structures, changing the people's behavior. This is on demand side. So, reuse and recharge uh, structures are nothing but if you want to go for water management, it is not only based on source, it also focuses on how you use the water. So, demand side and supply side. So, that is a holistic approach here and watershed management overall aspects and intensive afforestation. These five points you can use it for water management or uh, uh, development of uh, Indian system regarding water, all you can relate in this aspects. So, paragraph 1, holistic approach of water management. So, holistic approach means supply side and demand side. So, they are taking into consideration of all the supply side and demand side. Okay. So, conservation plans, Krishi Vigyan, Kendra Melas, urban water reuse, preparation of 3D via village contour maps were also envisaged. So, these are other measures being done, how to go for water management. And next thing is paragraph 2. The funds allocated under various regular schemes, both centrally sponsored schemes of government of India and state government schemes have similar intervention as objectives, were dovetailed at the district level. There were no separate fund allocation for campaigning. So, this point can be used in your answer writing regarding criticism or critical aspects of Jal Shakti Abhiyan. So, Jal Shakti Abhiyan water is the most important resource for humankind, we know it and government is giving importance for it. But the problem is when come for financial resources, we are lacking it. So, what government is saying is, what are the schemes already have this objective? Try to find that scheme, use the fund effectively. Okay, this you can use it as a critical aspect and also how government is very smart in using the fund. It depends upon the question what you are writing. So, this can be used for lack of financial resources. So, as our government does not have financial resources, we cannot allocate the money which is considered to be the primary focus of the government, focusing on water management. So, this you can use it for your uh, polity answers, economic answers, any question regarding financial management, what are the issues in financial management in India, how it impacts now Indian system. You can give this point and give this program as a good example for it. That is paragraph 2. And paragraph 3, the national level Jal Shakti Abhiyan monitoring dashboard was developed to capture the progress of state and district against Jal Shakti Abhiyan interventions. A mobile app was created for assisting the visiting teams to share the progress of the campaign during the visit to the states. Using the app, the visiting teams upload their reports on real-time dashboards. Dashboard was constantly monitored by dedicated team of officials from Department of uh, Drinking Water. So, based on the performance reported, districts were ranked generating healthy competition among them and also campaign was reviewed regularly. So, this is more about administrative angle. Here, the use of technology. So, government is effectively using technology. One is creation of dashboard. So, right now we can see in all our uh, major websites, we have dashboards. If you go for Prime Ministers of PMO website, we have see the dashboard. In key areas of our government activities, what is the performance? So, one is creating dashboard for this uh, Jal Shakti Abhiyan, especially the intervention what we have uh, saw in the previous paragraph. For that, they have some indicators and also app for visiting teams. So, whenever a team visit under Jal Shakti Abhiyan for a particular district or a block, those visiting officials have an app where they can update it. So, in real time, 
in the ministry they can monitor the performance. So these are nothing but use of technology in our governance process, use of technology in development. So if any question regarding how technology can help in our socio-economic development, if that type of question comes means you can use this as an example, how this dashboard and apps helps in our focusing on government intervention for water management. A lot of are other areas government is using it. Just for uh, understanding purpose, I gave this as a point. So that's paragraph uh, 3 of page number 47. The next thing is uh, page number 48. So paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. So paragraph 1 speaks about people's participation, people's participation. So people participation generally we say is gen, uh, general society aspect but here there is some factual statement is given. So uh, an estimated 2 crore people participated in the campaign and uh, especially youth. So youth population participation is very important and this stay uh, points you can also use it in your answer writing how participation of youth is important for our socio-economic development okay that's paragraph one it's a very factual one usage is very minimal but we can see that importance of some factual numbers in your answers and paragraph two is nothing but a case study so if you want to write some uh, examples in your answer as a case study you can put that as a separate paragraph or separate box in your answers and give this as a case study so people of Haripur have converted a flitty uh, water body into a beautiful par park with a pond. Village community, constitute, uh, village co uh, community constituted a committee called Haripur Vikas Committee for the development of village including the pond site. So we always speak a lot about people participation, correct? So if any question is regarding people participation, this can be a case study. You can use this Haripur village as a case study where for water management the entire village community has worked very effectively and they also created this Haripur Vikas committee. So this is a good example of a case study which you can use it in your answer writing and this type of examples you can't see it in our papers, newspapers. So this, this example will look like a more administrative answer. I think you are able to get the point, correct? So as most of your friends will be writing examples from uh, newspapers where they will not ha have this micro level examples. When you are able to write this, the answers becomes more administrative. So that is the importance of this case studies. And finally last one, uh, paragraph, so page number 41, 49, so paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. So the intention of this paragraph 1 and paragraph 2 is, so what need to be done? We always say that way forward, correct? Paragraph 1, so we call it that is way forward. So this is very specific for uh, Jal Shakti Abhiyan. So uh, we will just list out some key points in it, both paragraph 1 and paragraph 2. First one is uh, digital inventory. So we want to create digital inventory. And next thing is list of water bodies. So list of water bodies. And next thing is link to people's livelihood. So if you want to make Jalshak Debian more successful, so these are the points given there, which is very specific, but we are, uh, I'll just give an example how these points can be used overall in your GS papers. Next thing is social water body policing, water bodies policing, even a name is given. Which we already saw in the previous uh, videos, correct? Jal Rakshak Shakas. The next thing is survival of plantations. Next thing is to create awareness. capacity building and this is very specific for water management capacity building of farmers and water conservation should be simultaneously done 
and government rules government rules for rainwater harvesting and finally to create a jal shakti abhiyan cell at district level so district level so this is a points given how to make jal shakti abhiyan more successful right from digital inventory to create a jal shakti abhiyan cell at district level and please understand these same set of ideas can be used for n number of questions though this may be very specific for jal shakti abhiyan so take example of uh, crime against women what need to be done the same points can be used not all the points so digital inventory so what is digital inventory means right now you create a digital database about uh, people involving crime against women so that can be a point and uh, list of water bodies means list out what type of crime those persons are involved in it and link to the people livelihood okay there can be no such thing social water body policing similarly if you want to reduce the crime against women that cannot be done only by the governments so we need to encourage people to be part of that uh, initiative so that uh, that is a term called community policing that you can relate it survival of plantations you need to check whether that community policing is surviving i'm just relating it okay and to create awareness this is a general point anywhere you can use it in your answer writing create awareness for example it can be crime against women or it can be election or anything you can relate with uh, creation of awareness capacity building capacity building is to strengthen the stakeholders especially here it's about farmers there it can be uh, women for example uh, giving them self defense classes government rules so government want to focus on creating rules more about uh, uh, more women friendly police forces i'm just making up some points and uh, cell need to be created district level similarly there should be a, 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 a specific cell at a, a police sp level so especially at the sp office we need to create a cell so this set of points it depends upon how you relate to the question though it relates to jal shakti abhiyan the same set of points you can relate anywhere for example to improve primary education in india what need to be done again you can use all the same set of points how you relate it most important so all these points can be related anywhere for our socio economic challenges so that's uh, the first article and so we go for the second one centrality of women in water management and uh, he is a uh, she is a author aga khan rural support program so in that we start with paragraph 1 it's more about gender specific this uh, article is more gender specific they are saying how women is important in water management okay so women played a key integral role in water management policies need to be designed in manner to enhance this role even further so the paragraph 1 clearly says that women is more important in water management so water management can be done properly only with the active participation of women so in this article we see that how that is being established how women is more important in our water management uh, initiatives okay so that's uh, paragraph 1 on page number 64 and next we go for uh, page number 65 so paragraph 1 i'll just put that paragraph 1 paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 so in that paragraph 1 so they say that general roles also make women the health caretakers of the family so women is equated with health caretakers of the family So there is one important key point which you need to keep in mind. We'll discuss how this can be used in your answer writing. So they have given the reason why they are health caretakers of the family in the subsequent lines. And next, the poor quality of water which causes waterborne diseases also affects the women most. In some locations, when water collection has to be done in early or late hours because of erratic supply or nature of the sources, there are issues of women's safety also. 
in most communities women not only collect water but they are res primarily responsible for managing the drinking water at home so any change in water timing change in pressure or flow of water affects women in households the most being water carriers and water management water carriers and water managers so this is another most key word here water carriers and water managers so water carriers and water managers women are traditional knowledge bearers of season wise water availability in different water sources source wise water quality as compared to women and they and they use the source and water every day this knowledge is very useful planning of water supply schemes so they have a very good traditional knowledge so these are the points in paragraph 1 so where we can use this points first point says they are the health caretakers of the family and next they are the water carriers and water managers in the family and they have very good traditional knowledge about water sources quality of water seasonality about water so what is the importance of this particular points is right now off lately in india we can see that uh, is that we need to give some monetary value for women in our family so as uh, we know that mothers of uh, uh, doing lot of activities in our family which is not monetarily recognized so can we need to give such like this if there is any question like that in upsc these are the supporting points because women especially we call them as housewives they do all these activities right from he uh, health care takers of the family to water carriers water managers and they are the person with traditional knowledge about water so these points can be used there and apart from this why women need to be involved in government planning again these points can be said so they are the first person to get impact by government uh, uh, programs so they need to be actively involved in government planning so these points can be used for that okay and next thing is paragraph 2 women often ensures that egos and political caste difference do not affect community contribution or water rate collection which may otherwise lead to a system breakdown so they are also the first to know of health problems in the family hence are keen to learn the link between water quality and health the ways to test water quality and address it impurities through traditional knowledges so what we can say this importance of women in socio economic development uh, to to say in other words when compared with men and women women is able to understand the larger picture so why that should be a water scheme how it benefits and they just put aside the ego community religion caste outside to make sure that this program is successful any program so women are considered to be the natural leaders so these points you can use it for example if any question regarding women and role in panchayat why women are considered to be suitable in for our development process any question in that angle or any essay topics you can give this statements how women is more focusing on greater picture larger picture of the society's development rather than small issues of caste religion other things so this can also be a point used in your uh, just ethics part also okay women as a natural leaders so that's paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 by involving men not only does the drinking water intervention becomes more effective and inclusive but begin by giving voice to women in its implementation and management the program also empowers the women and enhances their respect in village as community leaders and members who solve problems common to the village that's creating gender transformative impact so women can emerge from family to be a leader so what are the reasons for this the previous reasons what previous points what we discussed correct so they are not egoistic and they are more focused on social well being or society's well being and to understand this what the author says is women should give up primary role in our socio economic development what are the primary role is one is implementation and management women role in implementation and management so implement implementation and management and also they can emerge as uh, community leaders 
So, this points how we can use it in your answer writing even you can use it in GS polity. So, if any questions regarding women reservation bill uh, why there should be a women reservation bill and what are the merits of it why women need to be part of a political system you can give all these points. How women can be a community leader because uh, of all their qualities as a person who never focus on ego or caste which we discussed as a previous points. So, here it is more about women as a leader and women as a resource person and women actively involving socio-economic development. So, that is in uh, page number 65. Next we go for page number uh, 66 paragraph 1. It is critical to involve women in decision making process at all stages of planning, implementation, management, operation, maintenance of rural drinking water supply. So, this point for any socio economic issues, for any socio economic issues, what need to be done? Planning, implementation. management, planning, implementation, management, operation, maintenance. So, this is a set of points not only for water management. So, this can be for disaster management. So, what need to be done for disaster management? You can take all these points and you can write it in that aspect disaster management. And any areas you can use this points. It's a very general management principles which you can use it not only for water management for any socio-economic issues. This is a set of points. For that reason only we selected this paragraph. Next thing is para, uh, page number 67 paragraph 1, paragraph 2 and paragraph 3. So, so in paragraph 1 page number 67. So, that there is women cadres for water management. Women of water paralegal workers. They are called as uh, Jalduts or Bhujankar. So, these are different names given for a woman who act as a cadre of water paralegal workers. So, here you can see that how rural women can be empowered. So, in water management already we know the qualities of women how they are considered to be more society specific. So, if they give them some authoritative position like this water paralegal workers and with this name Jaldoots are the local names being given. So, women can be an effective force in water management. So, this you can say about rural employment generation or role of women in uh, uh, socio-economic development. So, all this you can relate here. So, we do not know whether they are giving some salary for these things, but it, this can be a opportunity for educated women especially in rural areas or anyone just finished off 10 standard to take a role of this. So, th this we recognize the importance of women. So, that is one and next thing is paragraph 2. This is again a case study. So, uh, in Bihar in Panchayat of Muzaffarpur and Samshitpur, we, uh, we have many examples of women's self-help group not only contributing towards the planning implementation of ward level water scheme, but also ensures the water is tested regularly, closing hand pumps where water quality is poor, water charges are collected monthly and water operators are paid to run the system and manage the repairs and maintenance. Surplus income is used to extend the supply of newer households. Here you can see the most important term self-help group, self-help group and water management. So, for any question regarding self-help group in governance, this point you can use it and this is a case study. What is done the state of Bihar especially in these two districts, how women self-help group, self group is actively involving in water management. Okay. So, this is a case study you can use it and next thing is paragraph 3. So, irrigation uses up to 80 percentage of water in the country, hence it is efficient, equitable use it is use is critical. Women do 60 percent of work in agriculture and many hilly and poor regions. They do bulk of farming when men have migrated out. Yet most irrigation communities have no women representation, miss out the con 
conservation and efficiency based approach that women bring to the decision making. Here the importance of women, here the importance of women and agriculture in water management. So, what we need to understand if you have if you want to have a proper water management there are two important factors you need to take into consideration one is role of women and understanding agriculture and they already we saw the factual statements in the previous videos where 80 percentage of uh, uh, um, uh, water is used in agriculture and uh, women contribute the major workforce in agriculture. So, this you need to keep in mind. So, uh, importance if any question regarding agriculture critical aspects. So, why uh, Indian agriculture is always in bad shape and what need to be done you can give this points because it consumes 80 percentage of the pristine water and as water stress in India is very high and you can relate all these points. So, agriculture you can relate this paragraph 3. So, this is regarding the next article what we saw so women uh, role of women in water management. So, we will take some questions. So, it is 2019 question. So, empowering women is the key to control population growth discuss. It is a very uh, question not very specifically related here. So, empowering women is key to control population growth discuss. So, when you say empowering women, this empowering women, women is a general term and especially related to population growth, we need to specifically focus on adolescent, pregnant and the women gave, gave, gave birth to child. So, that is one specific area. And they say empowering women is the most important thing. So, when you take empowering women, how we can relate this is, so we can see this in article, women is considered to be the health uh, caretakers of the family. So, when we are able to empower women in that dimension, one is the well-being of the family which can also be related to population growth. It is nothing but implied aspect. So, from this article, we know that women play a key role in uh, water management. So, you can also relate this to population growth. So, one of the reason why in rural areas we have so many uh, childbirth is the life expectancy is there the biggest issue like uh, IMR. So, if you want to control IMR, women need to be empowered by technology, by awareness and by society and even the time of women need to be empowered. So, all this we can relate this to, as, to this aspect of uh, water management. This is a very one point it is not that this should be the kind of complete answer. So, in, when you say empowering, empowering women for uh, population growth, question is key to control population growth, health aspect empowerment need to be there where women need to be given the choice when to have a child, how many child need to, they, they need to have spacing of child, these are all empowerment. Women need to be the decision maker in childbirth, that is one area. And technology. So, uh, we need to take the technology to the women to create awareness. Apart from this women already we saw in this article they are the cat health tech cat caretakers of the family and uh, wa uh, water play a major role in health. So, you are able to save the child's life, the women is properly empowered. These are the points you can take from this particular article and relate to this question. I hope you are able to understand this question and relating to this particular article. Thank you.